Hello everyone, welcome to your Sunday afternoon on TCM, the perfect time to sit back, relax and enjoy some fantastic movies. I'm Alicia Malone and we're kicking things off with a Gene Kelly musical from 1955, co-directed by Kelly with Stanley Donnan. Our film is It's Always Fair Weather. This musical was originally intended to be a sequel to Kelly and Donnan's On the Town from 1949, but it ended up becoming something a little bit darker about three army buddies who catch up after 10 years apart, only to find that maybe they aren't such good friends after all. Frank Sinatra and Jules Munchen, who had starred in On the Town with Gene Kelly, both weren't available, so Dan Daly and Michael Kidd were cast instead. Kidd was an impressive dancer and a choreographer who made his credited feature film acting debut here. And as you'll see, his dancing skills were put to good use, as was Dan Daly's musical training with several exciting dance numbers, including one where Kelly, Daly and Kidd dance while wearing trash can lids for tap shoes. Betty Comden and Adolph Green wrote the Oscar-nominated script and the musical lyrics, working with composer Andre Previn for the first time. Comden and Green had previously satirised musical theatre in the Barclays of Broadway and Hollywood in Singing in the Rain, and here they took on television, with the three army friends appearing on a This Is Your Lifestyle TV show. Also with Sid Charisse and Dolores Gray from 1955, enjoy It's Always Fair Weather. It's Always Fair Weather featured a few songs that are sure to get stuck in your head because they're so catchy, like March March and the Blue Danube number I Shouldn't Have Come. But there were a couple of numbers that didn't make the final cut. Betty Comden, Adolph Green and Andre Previn had written a slow ballad for Gene Kelly and Sid Charisse called Love is Nothing But a Racket. But Kelly told Previn, we can't have a ballad of that kind in this picture because nobody wants to stand still for a ballad. Kelly apparently tried recording the song at quadruple the tempo, and Previn was relieved when that version didn't make it in. Michael Kidd also choreographed and shot a complex 10-minute dance scene for which Andre Previn had composed music. It was called Jack and the Space Giants, where Kidd performed alongside a group of kids. And there were a few speculations as to why this one wasn't in the final cut. Previn thought Kelly may have been jealous of Kidd's solo, Kelly said it just didn't work out, while Kelly's co-director Stanley Donnan claimed that it was good enough to stay in the picture. Anyway, we have another musical for you up next, starring Leslie Caron as Cinderella. It's directed by Charles Walters, has a script by Helen Deutsch, and it's coming up right after this break. See you soon. Next on TCM, The Glass Slipper, then Auntie Main, and later, The Miracle Worker. TCM is simply divine today.